Today I thought I'd invite you into my kitchen to show you how I make one of my most favorite dishes. It's called la pain à la moutarde, or rabbit in a mustard sauce. I've had it um, a few times since I discovered uh, this lovely uh, meal in Quebec when I was visiting. So as you can see, today we're going to make uh, the rabbit uh, in the mustard sauce as well as some, uh, like, I like to call it sweet and spicy uh, glazed carrots, as well as a baked potato. So come on into the kitchen and I'll show you how it's made. First, we'll take four tablespoons of butter and we'll add it to the skillet. You want to turn the skillet on to medium heat. Melt the butter and mix well. We'll also add a tablespoon of olive oil. Give it a final stir to coat all the edges and we will begin to add uh, the pieces of rabbit. In this pan I could only fit three so we'll have to do a second batch. So you want to sear uh, each side of the rabbit. We'll flip the pieces now to sear the other side. Remember, we're not uh, intending to cook the rabbit at this point, just to sear the outside. When we're finished searing the first batch, we'll do the subsequent batches. You know, I can fit a leg piece and a saddle piece and and a four-limb piece in there. Just kind of have to play Tetris to try to fit everything in uh, to your skillet. All right, so now we have all the pieces seared and uh, set aside another plate. We're going to continue, um, you know, with the oil and butter mixture on medium heat again. We're going to take a cup of shallots or onions and I add a clove of garlic in there as well. Coat them well with the butter and oil mixture and cook them for about four to five minutes until they're nice softened and golden brown. Here I'm adding a half a cup of wine or you can also use cooking wine and you're going to mix and sort of scrape off the brown bits off the bottom of the skillet. Those are the good parts, by the way. Next, we'll add a half a cup of water and we'll also stir very well. And a half a cup of grainy Dijon mustard. Next, I add a tablespoon of fresh thyme, or you could do a half a tablespoon of dried thyme. I like to add a bit of salt for flavor, just to your taste, and then some pepper as well. We'll now remove the sauce from the heat. We will get back to it in a moment. You should grab a, a pot that's gonna fit uh, the amount of rabbit that you have. So we will transfer the rabbit now into the pot. And you can just layer them in there. There's no particular way you have to do this. You'll take your sauce in the uh, skillet there and you will pour it over the rabbit. Don't forget all the 
good bits there at the bottom. Just do a light mix. We'll add the bouquet garni, which is uh, some herbs mixed together. So there's some sage, rosemary, and thyme. Attached together on a bit of uh, string there so we can remove it later. Its purpose is to add a little bit more flavor uh, as it's cooking. You'll turn the heat down to low now and you'll simmer it for about an hour. And remember, we should cover that uh, rabbit and sauce for it to cook well. In the meantime, we're going to prepare some of the other pieces of rabbit, the kidneys, uh, the sort of stomach muscle area there, so the, uh, sorry, the, the abdominal muscle, which is basically the bacon, and the, the liver. Now we're going to make some uh, carrots. Let's boil uh, the carrots in some water. It's probably about two or three cups. Boil them until they're just, uh, you know, just a bit softened. I add about two tablespoons of butter and a tablespoon of freshly grated ginger. And then we'll mix them together. Now we'll add a quarter cup of brown sugar. and stir to mix. Then we'll keep them on low heat uh, just to keep them warm until our uh, rabbit is finished. In the meantime, I've started baking uh, potato at about 400 degrees Celsius for about an hour just until it's soft inside. So here we are about an hour later. Uh, the rabbit is cooked. Uh, it's exceeding an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit, so it should be good to eat. Uh, the, the meat should basically be ready to fall off the bone when you're ready to eat it. If you need to go a little bit longer, you can do that, but be careful not to overcook it. We're going to remove the pieces of rabbit now because we need to do a few more steps uh, to our sauce. And we'll remove the bouquet garni as well, uh, as that's not to be eaten, it just added a lot of flavor to the sauce. We'll turn off the, uh, the stove top now. Next, we're going to add uh, a half a cup of cream. So I'm using whipping cream here at 35%. We're gonna mix that into the sauce and stir well. Next, we're gonna add a few pinches of parsley. It's nice and fresh, has a really fresh flavor to it. And there you have it. There's the sauce. So we'll take our pieces of rabbit that we've now uh, put in a serving dish and we'll pour the sauce on top. I like to garnish the rabbit with a little bit of fresh thyme for presentation purposes, so we'll just place that on top. Well, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the cooking segment today. Uh, I'm going to enjoy the fruits of my labor. You really have to give this recipe a try. It's exceptional. I was very, really addicted to it once I tried it a few years ago, and I tend to make it frequently. So uh, tonight I'm pairing it with uh, an ale, uh, Bo's Lug Tread, made in uh, the Ottawa area. Uh, it's really light. It's very tasty. So let's check it out. Hmm, that's really good. I'm gonna try a piece of this liver here that I also stir fried. I've got a little a tiny kidney here too. Really good. You know, I love the addition of the ginger to the carrots. It really makes that spicy flavor to the glazed sugar taste. It's amazing. Well, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you have a great week. 
Um, and don't forget to hit like if you enjoyed this video for more videos like it. And I'd love if you'd subscribe just so I can keep you up to date um, with uh, the latest things that I'm doing. All right, cheers everyone, have a great week.